Okay, here's the Lincoln 225 and the problem I'm having with it right now. Uh, it does not charge the battery. I would show you the schematics that I downloaded from Lincoln if I could show you my phone, but I'm using the phone right now. So basically what the schematics show is that this generator has no exciter to excite the main field windings. <clears throat> Instead what it uses is there's supposed to be a charging coil behind the flywheel of this engine which is supposed to provide power for like I think it's just an alternator I don't even think it's a charging coil it's just a small uh, alternator stator coil that goes behind the flywheel and it would use uh, permanent magnets on the back of the flywheel so basically this whole shroud has to come off and I gotta pull the flywheel off and make sure all the parts are there before I go doing anything but there is no wires anywhere coming from behind the shroud going into the generator housing. There's nothing. There is nothing. You can see it's just an electric starter. You see this little wire here. This little wire, I believe, is what was supposed to connect to the alternator coil behind the shroud. And instead, you follow this little wire, follow this little wire, goes right to the positive terminal on the battery. They've cut this wire on the inside of the shroud and routed it all the way to the back to this toggle switch, which I have, like an idiot, forgotten that was on. And uh, that's a common problem with that switch being on. And uh, basically, what happens is, when that switch is on, it excites the main field windings in there off the battery. It's supposed to excite the main field windings off of a coil that was behind the flywheel not there. So that's the problem I'm having. So for right now, my solution was this. I have a plug hooked up right here, and uh, I can hook my solar charger up to this little plug. Right now, let me just pull this up. I have my battery tender up there right now, and I have this the battery tester, the load tester out to show you what voltages I have. Right now, because I had the charger on it, it's sitting at about 13 volts. And uh, I am going to, <clears throat> going to right now turn the fuel on. This engine hasn't run in a couple days. We'll start it up. And I'll show you what voltage it is at when is running. Uh, I should need some choke. Okay. With the engine running, there's less voltage. Yeah, so with the engine running, it dropped it back down to 12. And this is a brand new battery. So, underneath this cover, there is a charging circuit board that's under there for charging the battery. It's all there, it's all intact. There is a bridge rectifier below that, which I believe had something to do with the stator coil behind the flywheel. And uh, that's all wired up and intact. I followed the wiring diagram, and it just appears that I'm missing the charging coil behind the flywheel. I'm not sure what to do about that yet. Um, am I going to make my own system, which incorporates a charging coil behind the flywheel and its own <clears throat> voltage regulator off like a garden tractor or something. I could do that and then just mount the regulator like to this gas tank support or something and just make it completely separate of the generator head. But I think for right now what I'm going to do is just put a deep cycle battery here, a bigger deep cycle battery. This is just a 230 cold cranking amp 
lawn tractor batteries, which this engine here doesn't take long at all to kill that battery if you're starting and stopping this thing frequently. And uh, if I go with a deep cycle battery, I'll have to get the bigger battery tender. This is only a one and a quarter amp. So that's where we're at.